So a lot of people wonder why in the world, out in the middle of nowhere, there's this big aviation facility. And it is an interesting story. It started out as a design consultancy. My husband's an aeronautical engineer and he just did a lot of design work and it became clear that he wanted to not just design, he wanted to be able to build these designs as well. So it didn't start out as a big grand vision of this big campus of Flying S. It started small in a barn across the road. We had about 15 employees when we moved into this building. Within six months, we had to double the size of the facility and we're on our sixth expansion right now, which is a pretty crazy amount of growth in just 12 years. One of my responsibilities in the shop as a Flying S manufacturing engineer is to source the machines, the tooling we need, and the work holding we need to be able to produce the parts we make. I often feel like if we're going to buy one of the best five axis machines we possibly can to produce our parts for our customers, we need work holding that will complement those machines. Our machines here at Flying S, whenever we go to cut five axis parts, vary in size so much that we needed a modular system and work holding system that would vary just as much as our machines do. Our initial investment in the zero point system here at Flying S was with Lang work holding and we made quite the investment, several tens of thousands of dollars worth of receivers and vices and that sort of thing. As I looked at the HWR product and I wanted to be able to buy that product to use it here, I was very, very happy to find that they're 100% compatible. And that's not often something that you see modular in the modular work holding world. The pins, the receivers, the vices, even the vice jaws were 100% compatible with the product I already had on the floor. A lot of other vice manufacturers and zero point system manufacturers don't have that interchangeability. And so I am locked in on what I have. With Lang and HWR, it allows me to have the freedom to be able to have my investment I made initially work with what I'm buying now from HWR. Whenever you make an investment into something like an HWR product, you really want to have the value of the product and the support that comes with it. We have systems here with 18 pallets, and so buying 18 receivers is a very expensive cost. But we knew going into it that if we didn't put in that investment, that we weren't going to get the returns and the fast changeovers that we needed to really truly unlock our machine's potential. We're able to design a lot of our own work holding that we use on our machines. And so here at Flying S, design for manufacturability is everything. Our engineers are able to use the 96 and 52 millimeter pin patterns to their advantage. This goes throughout our entire process from how we locate our vices onto the machines to the way that we design our secondary operation, OP2 fixtures. The real key for us is to have modularity and design for manufacturability using solid point system throughout our entire manufacturing process. Sometimes I'll go to these shops and I'll see this beautiful machine and then I'll look inside and I'll see their, this old nasty vice sitting on their table. And I think to myself, what a shame that you have such a beautiful machine and yet the work holding doesn't match the capabilities of the machine. That was something that we wanted to avoid at Flying S. As we grow, every five axis machine that we buy will have a solid point system in it to allow us to be able to flex that machine's power. It's really not even something that we question at this point.